boxing fans, James Smith from In This Corner from Canastota, New York in the 2015 International Boxing Hall of Fame brought to you by Mexico. Live it to believe it. Check out www.visitmexico.com and by the WBC. Well, the activities and the festivities well underway here in Canastota, the 26th International Boxing Hall of Fame induction weekend. We had the opportunity to chat with Executive Director Ed Brophy, who fills us in on all this year's inductees, and also a couple of legends and Hall of Famers from the 80s, Bantamweight champion Jolton Jeff Chandler, and a guy who, well, you, all you need to say is, it's Hawk time, Aaron Pryor. Also joining us to add a little international flavor, after all, it is the International Boxing Hall of Fame, a man who certainly hopes to someday be enshrined here. Right now he wants to fight with Floyd Mayweather, Amir Khan. All of that 2015 International Boxing Hall of Fame is underway. Well, we're always excited this time of the year. We're excited throughout the year as the museum welcomes visitors from around the world to learn of the sport of boxing, recall the memories. But of course, in June is paying tribute to the new class of inductees and the reunion between the boxing fans and the champions, the inductees. is something special. It happens once a year in Canastota. And it really just adds that positive feeling, the love of boxing, that you really feel it from not just Canastota, but from around the world because of what's happening in Canastota. So we're excited. We've got a great uh, lineup of celebrities that have been coming in and uh, a lot of events that are planned from a banquet to a golf tournament to a parade, and of course the induction ceremony and all kinds of e events in between. And they're hosted by all the volunteers and the community organizations. So again, we're very happy to put the red carpet out for the sport of boxing. And talk about uh, some of the big names that will be enshrined uh, forever here this year. Well, of course, uh, Ray Boom Boom Mancini, very familiar name, a uh, tough fighter, popular fighter on TV in the 80s, and um, uh, a fan favorite, uh, Ray Boom Mancini. He's a, a great story, a special person, and well-deserving to be in the Hall of Fame. Uh, Riddick Big Daddy Bo, heavyweight champion. You know, to win that heavyweight crown, that's, you know, what's always been in sports, to become the heavyweight champion. You got you, you own the title of the biggest sport uh, uh, championship, and it's always been that way. And Riddick Bowe held that title, and he held it twice. So heavyweight champion Riddick Bowe, uh, Prince Nassim Hamed, great fighter, fought the best in his division, and was so exciting, brought a lot of excitement to the crowd. So, uh, and uh, Uko Gushigan from Japan, one of the great fighters from Japan, uh, Yoko Gushigan was one of the best. He's here. He's enjoying everything. He's uh, uh, So there's four boxers, just well-deserving plaques on the wall to receive the Hall of Fame ring. And then, of course, Jim Lampley, broadcaster. Uh, Jim, uh, very professional, uh, long list of achievements. Steve Smoger, uh, of course, a great referee. Rafael Mendoza uh, from Mexico, uh, first as a journalist, then as a booking agent, then as a manager. Uh, you talk about Mexico, you got to talk about Rafael Mendoza and Nigel Collins. Nigel Collins, Ring Magazine, uh, he was the editor, and then, of course, with ESPN. So just a great class of inductees, a long list of um, well-deserving to be elected in Hall of Fame and to have their plaques on the wall for many generations is all Hall of Fame's do to, to, to remember the greats of their sport. So a great lineup of 2015 inductees and many returning Hall of Famers and other special guests. It's really exciting. The Hall of Fame, is this your first experience here in Canastota? Yeah, first experience here, and I love it. And let me tell you, before I ask you about it, you've made a big, John and I were out, my producer John Hyatt and I were out last night at the casino and everybody, oh, we met Amir Khan, Amir Khan, Amir Khan. So Boy. I don't know what you do to all these ladies or whatever, uh -huh. but you, you're charming everybody uh, with your personality and, and obviously everybody likes your fighting. I'm a nice guy. In the, in the sport of boxing and obviously you know I speak to people I meet people and I'll spend hours there with people outside taking doing autographs yeah. I don't like saying no to people you know when these people have come for us to the Hall of Fame yeah. you know these fans have come to see us and we have to you know the reason the Hall of Fame is big is because of the fans yeah. and we have to show our respect back so I'm not I'm one of them guys you know I love to show my respect. I was hoping uh, Prince was gonna make it we all were yeah. Prince and I said that must have been disappointing when you found out he's not gonna be here yeah uh, I think he uh, he's uh, he so on a member of his family was not too well and he had to stay home with them but Prince is a good friend of mine and obviously uh, I want to congratulate him for being an inductee in the Hall of Fame uh, I think he deserves it um, and you know uh, what will it mean to you to someday be immortalized here oh wow it'll be amazing obviously uh, to be amongst the great fighters here 
having my name in the Hall of Fame will be one of the best things ever. I mean, I think that 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 we do one thing is retiring from boxing, having a great career, financially securing your whole life, looking after your family. But then, the cherry on top of that will be becoming a Hall of Famer, and I think that's my dream. You know, to one day when I'm sat home with my feet up, I get a phone call saying, "I'm here. You've been inducted in the Hall of Fame." That'd be the best phone call ever. So. I mean, fingers crossed, you know, I think um, the way my career is going, the way I'm fighting, the way the fans love me. I think it's not only what you do in the sport of boxing, it's only it's what you like outside the sport of boxing as well. You have to be a respect, respectable person. The fans need to like you and stuff. Uh, I just think it's a great event this is. And, you know, Ed is a friend of mine who put this whole thing together and I think he's doing a great job. And this is only helping boxing kind of store it where, where it's held. It's a very quiet place, like a quiet village. But to bring this here, in a quiet place and to bring all the invite all the boxing fans to come and see their heroes i think is amazing hall of famer one of the great bantamweight champions jolton jeff chandler good to see you champ good to be here man good to see you. That. what did it mean to you to be enshrined here inducted into the hall of fame in 2000 what did it mean to you oh this is one of the biggest things that could happen to me i was champion already but you know i found out there's champions in every weight, and you know, everybody's got one, you know? So, going to the Hall of Fame was the big time for me, really. You know, I, I mention you a lot to the kids today because I'm a proponent of same day weigh ins. I believe in 15 round fights. And I remember you saying to me one time, you know, I was the best 118 pound guy in the world. You once told me that. What did it mean? to you to be the best at a certain weight. Do you think that that's a lost thing of how important the weight divisions are? Well, <clears throat> well, as a bantamweight, yeah, because most most of the little guys that come from across the country somewhere, there's not too many little guys like that boxing here in the States. You know, so, you know, uh, um, Puerto Rico and, you know, in Mexico and stuff like that, Always had a lot of little band and that. But you were the first American in like 30 years when you captured American, the title. That's right. The first American about 30 years, man. And I tried to be the only American in, <laughs> in that 30 years, man. I tried to beat them all. Yeah. I really did. Y your career a little bit different. I'm not sure if this is accurate, but I believe you only had a couple of amateur fights, Two. right? Two. Two amateur Two. fights and lost one? In one week. One on Monday, one on Friday. How the hell did you do that and go on to be a great <laughs> champion? Well, see, well, see, I learned how to fight <laughs> on the streets. Okay. That's where I got my... The Philadelphia streets. That's right. Okay. That's where I got my, my start at Philly streets, you know, fighting and fighting. Those are some guys. mean streets. Yeah, they some. Yes, they are. Look at this. Look at this. See that? Yeah. These come from... Not with gloves on. Right. <laughs> What's wrong with my no, Miami hands? No. <laughs> <laughs> but where did you develop then? With only two amateur fights, where did you develop I'm this style? I'm telling you, in Philadelphia. Yeah. yeah. Fighting the guy. That, you know, I was always a, a small guy. My father used to tell me, I can't be out there fighting for you. You got to do it for yourself. So, you know, every time I got in a fight, most of it was big guys. So I really had, I really had the knuckle, you know, knuckle. <laughs> the greatest guy I ever met in my life, the one I cried when I met with Joe Frazier. And uh, he was up here with, and he was up here with me, and he, and he gave me a hug and stuff, and just told me that I was so great. I was like, hearing it from you, oh my God, I'm, I'm hearing it from Joe Frazier. I still believe that I hear, that, I hear that in my mind every day when I come up here. So I hope I excite some young young guy that they see me and they say, "What's the guy for prior? I mean, Aguello." So I hope that I, they get excited like I did because I've been coming up here for 20 years, but I'm still excited about that day when me and Joe Frazier was in the uh, locker room together, and Joe Frazier start, he started singing. Oh my God, I didn't know he was a singer. Oh yeah, yeah and Joe I loved to I sing. I didn't know he was yeah. a singer. That would just kind of like trip me out. He started singing. So, I mean, you know, I, to the young kids that to, to come to the Hall of Fame, they got so many, so many roots in boxing. When you come up here, you can find out about so many great fighters. Larry Holmes, Sugar Ray Leonard, Aaron Pryor, Joe Frazier. Muhammad Ali, you get the knowledge of these fighters out here. And anything that I feel that I can do, somebody else can do. Yeah. You know, some people can look at Ray Leonard fights and do what Ray Leonard do in the fight. 
you know, that's, that's how you learn. You watch other fighters and you try different things. Well, try, try and watch and imitate uh, Aaron Pryor. First of all, you'll, you'll certainly enjoy the action, but a, a master at boxing, punching, uh, fistic artery, footwork, it all. He had it all, the entire package. The great Aaron Pryor, thanks for joining thank, us. Thank you so much, God bless. It's still hog time. <laughs>